Finally tonight, if you love tall ships, then Booth Bay Harbor is the place to be for the next week or so. That's where the Tall Ship Festival is going on right now. And then on Sunday, it's the beginning of Windjammer Days. Two of the vessels taking part in the festival are captained by a father-son duo, both with deep roots in sailing. They made the voyage up from Nantucket, sailing right alongside each other. Photojournalist Sebastian Benich brings us tales from their voyage. One aloft in the four. The tall ships are here this year because it's a belated bicentennial celebration. Santa Maria from Seville, Spain is here. We have the Spirit of Bermuda from Hamilton, Bermuda. And we have tall ship Lynx from Nantucket Island here. Well, the two in the background here, Lynx and Spirit of Bermuda, happen to be captained by a father and a son. So you're aboard the Spirit of Bermuda. She was built in Rockport Marine, just like the Lynx. This is a national treasure. She is built to exemplify and to teach and remind people of what it was like in the War of 1812. We have a crew. We live as one. The ship is, uh, is our mother, <laughs> and we take care of our mother. Everything on this boat requires many people. You know, the people are the machine. Alexander and our family, he makes the uh, fifth generation of traditional sailors. We document that back to my great-great-grandfather. It's an unusual combination that the two of us are this fortunate to be that way, but uh, if he wasn't on Spirit of Bermuda, I would want him on Lynx. For us to come into our home port, you know, of Nantucket, we were able to sail in together. Sailing out of Paul Grip, leaving Nantucket, fog lifts, two boats right there together. Wind, wind picked up and we just rocketed off and and uh, it was kind of like the old days, you know? It is, um, you, you get goosebumps, I get goosebumps, a dry throat uh, to see Alex in command of a vessel that's so uh, proud, proudly sailed. That's a rarity, most, <laughs> I don't even know, there could be another father-son tandem out there, but I don't know of one. That's the romance of the sea, right? Nothing romantic about the sea, but uh, it's, it's really cool to have it so close to home like that. You know, having the boats in Nantucket where I have a, a history and a family history, operated the links for so many years, been so many places on it. You can look around and see fairly standard sailing craft around uh, the coast of Maine, Booth Bay Harbor, but this is really where people get a chance to ste step back in time. I think people come to Booth Bay not looking for things they can find wherever they may come from, Bigger's better, right? I mean, you get some of these tall ships when they're too masted and they're, they cost millions of dollars. And then, you know, to restore them, maintain them, takes the love of the owners and really the love of anybody that's captain or crewing on these vessels. People are getting, it seems, less engaged with the outdoors and sailing's part of that. So that's my mission in life is to keep, keep these things alive or at least the, the message and the only way to get that message is by having these boats around.